Protests against the bombing campaign spread across Europe. Milosevic turned the screw. When our soldiers are dying, they know why they are dying. They are dying for their homeland, for their fatherland. And for what will die your soldiers 5,000 miles from home, killing children until they sleep, killing women and girls and peaceful citizens and ruining what we were building through the decades after Second World War. Two months of bombing had not daunted Milosevic, but was damaging the popularity of NATO governments. The most vulnerable was Germany's. At his party conference, the German foreign minister faced an open revolt. This was a furchtbare Veranstaltung. Das, uh... Eine vernünftige Diskussion war nicht möglich, es ging mit Trillerpfeifen. Dass dieses gegen die Überzeugung vieler in meiner Partei stand, die nie wieder Krieg zu ihrer Grundlage gemacht hat, hat natürlich die Auseinandersetzung sehr schwer gemacht. Ich bekam Farbbeutel ab. Aufs Ohr musste im Krankenhaus das äh, reparieren lassen. His coalition leader, the German Chancellor, summoned the three men charged with ending the war. Kanslerin Schröder, näki suuria vaikeuksia pitää omaakin hallituskoalitiota koossa ja koko Naton niin kohesio oli 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 kärsimässä tästä. To make matters worse. If NATO were going to launch a ground war, it would have to start preparing for it by early June. In order not to be trapped by the Serbian winter, an immediate peace settlement was the only way out. On June the 1st, the Troika reconvened at a German government guest house outside Bonn. The German Chancellor had begged them not to leave until they had agreed all the terms to put to Milosevic. But Talbot wasn't about to compromise. The only way to create what is called a secure environment in Kosovo is to get all of the Serbs out. That meant all of the Serb armed forces, all of the paramilitary, all of the special police. Out. All of them. Every one. Вести можно 30, 50, 150 тысяч. Все равно это сделать невозможно. Лучше это если будут сами делать Югославы. At the end of the day, uh, the disagreement uh, between us was going to come down to one three-letter word. All. A-L-L. They took a break so that Chena Murden could phone his masters and report that the Americans were still insisting that all Serb forces must leave Kosovo. Виктор Степанович проинформировал о том, что НАТО будет жестко стоять на полном выводе сербских войск из Косово, и дальнейшая позиция вести переговоры на этих условиях ни к чему не приведет, только затянет военную эскалацию. When they resumed the next day, the Americans got a pleasant surprise. The Russians had a um, laptop computer on the table where we were negotiating and they kept churning out drafts and counter drafts and redrafts of the paper that uh, Chernomirden was prepared to take with him. And all of a sudden that morning the three letter word popped out. A-L-L. Chernomirden ilmoitti, että hän hyväksyy. Mr. Chernomirden had in his delegation a Russian general by the name of Ivashov. He said no. Total withdrawals? No. Были нарушены российские интересы, ну и другие вопросы, по которым я не согласился. Было проигнорировано мнение военных трех сторон. Я не с, не с ним должен был совет, и мне он, он мне помогал, как или помогал, и говорил там, все, что касается военных дел, оно ни в коем случае не политических дел. Для этого у меня был президент, премьер, министр. In fact, his president and prime minister had instructed Chernomirdin, 
unknown to the general, to play for higher stakes and gain the Russians a foothold in Kosovo. Venäläisten tavoitteena oli saada oma sektori Kosovossa, johon, joka olisi ollut heidän, heidän kontrollissaan. Ja se olisi lähinnä ollut se maan pohjoisosa, jossa oli Serbian enemmistö. The reason we didn't feel we had to resolve that in the Petersburg talks because it was none of Milosevic's business. What we had to get Milosevic to agree to was get all his people out. They were setting off for a country that had suffered nine weeks of bombing. By the end of May, some 500 Serb civilians had been killed. The people's tolerance was becoming strained, even in Serbia's most loyal heartland. For over 600 years, the town of Krushevats had been known for its patriotism. In 1389, men from here had marched south into Kosovo to do battle against the infidel. In 1999, the tradition lived on. Krušovac je dao imao svojih dragih oko 11000. Trouble began here when the bodies of four local soldiers were brought back from Kosovo to the town's main hospital. By the next day, rumors spread that many more men had died than was officially being admitted. A crowd of 2,000, mostly women, gathered on the town square. Rumors of the protests soon reached men from Krushevat serving in Kosovo. More than a thousand of them hijacked military vehicles filled with weapons and headed for home. Milosevic sent his top soldier to intercept the mutineers. The mutiny was contained, but it was a warning that the Serb people had a breaking point. Would Milosevic heed the warning? Milosevic had risen to power by exploiting popular support for Serb nationalism. Seventy-eight days of bombing had weakened that support. As he prepared to greet the Troika, he knew the terms they would bring could only be humiliating. Could he salvage enough to keep the Serb people behind him and stay in power? As Chernomirdin landed in Belgrade, NATO was making no secret of its preparations for a ground war. The proposal the Troika brought was virtually an ultimatum dictated from Washington. Siinä oli selvästi tämmöisen ultimaattumin makua, mutta se piti yrittää esittää sillä lailla, että tämä oli paras neuvottelutulos, mihin me olimme pystyneet näissä neuvotteluissa, kolmikantaneuvotteluissa. Milosevic was promised that the NATO forces to be sent to Kosovo would not carry the NATO banner. Tenomyrdin omassa puheenvuorossaan totesi, että tästä seuraa, että Kosovosta tulee autonominen osa Jugoslavia. Milosevic sanoi, että voisiko hän tehdä jotain parannusehdotuksia näihin, ja mä totesin, että ikävä kyllä ei, että... Mun ei sadržaa te garantsiä i suvereniteetä, i territorialnog integriteetä, i odgovornosti jednih nacija za politički proces. On vzal dokument i poprosil nas, što on jo apsudit pravitelstvi, a na sljedeći dien 
на скупщине, то есть в парламенте. И поэтому потом даст ответ. Затем он попросил, и ему на это все закончилось. Artizari and the formal Troika delegation left, not knowing if they'd done enough to make Milosevic back down. Затем президент Милошевич встретился только с российской делегацией. А тогда он попросил меня остаться. Мы еще с ним часа три переговорили. Они с Милошевичем тогда говорили, да, у кого не прихватили условия, которые они тут понудили, да, че дочи до той копной агрессии. И, конечно, мы ему говорили, что это имею в виду, что если это дальше будет, в итоге э, там действительно никакой победы не будет. Там просто уничтожат страну людей. Черномедин склонил ствари со стола, лупил руком о сто и рекал, драга господу, а ко не прихватите ово, что вам се нуди, Сербия че бити равна ка ове сто испред нас. Али да смо ми тада одбили тај нихов заједнички предлог, они би онда могли slobodno da kažu evo i Rusiji i ruskom predlogu su rekli ne parliament duly approved Milosevic's decision the war was over President Artisari reported to the German Chancellor, who welcomed him with delight. The settlement had come just in time to save his government. All the NATO leaders heaved a sigh of relief that bombing alone had brought Milosevic to heel. But the Russians had one piece of unfinished business in Kosovo. Рассчитывали, что Россия должна иметь свой сектор. Мы рассчитывали на то, что этот вопрос будет обсуждаться. Нам это, кстати, было обещано. As Serb forces withdrew from Kosovo, Russian units raced in to secure a Russian sector there. Добил задаток от тадашни пресника Милошевича да прихватимо негде на комуникации измеѓу Куршумлија и Прокуплја руски контингенти да обезбедимо да се он да он дојде до 24 да стигне на Приштин. Велики број единица закрчен пут, закрчени помоћни путеви, велики број цивила кои се помешао со војском. As I got ready to go to the NATO video teleconference. A note was handed to me. It said the Russians are, the Russians are, are crossing the Drina, preparing to cross the Drina River. So very confusing fact situation. A Russian leadership situation at that stage, very, very frayed. Um, and we're suddenly in a situation where our fear was, after 78 days, we would wind up with a partitioned Kosovo, which was precisely what we'd fought this war against. If you had a Russian sector within Kosovo, it would automatically attract uh, Serbs, and particularly uh, the more militant and violent uh, Serb elements who would want to get in under the Russian umbrella. Moscow was clearly up to something. Clinton's Russian advisor was dispatched there immediately to quiz Igor Ivanov, the foreign minister. Ivanov said that there had indeed uh, been an accidental uh, deployment of Russian forces uh, into Kosovo, but that it was an accident and they would be out uh, in a matter of hours. So contrite was the Russian foreign minister that he agreed to phone a statement to CNN. Uh,